What is up guys? Good morning and welcome back to another video on the main channel. We finally have a vlog now again on the main channel. I just thought of this. I haven't done a vlog kind of style video on this channel for a little bit. It's mainly been like car reviews and what happens at videos and stuff like that. So in today's video we're going to cover a couple things and we're also going to talk about money, a topic that people seem to enjoy. But um, if you don't follow my personal channel, you don't have to, but you can if you want to. But if you don't follow it, you haven't really been following along in the whole process of uh, where I live now. And it's been a construction zone for like three months, but now it's finally done. So we're gonna do a little, uh, I guess, condo update or apartment update since I rent, I don't own it. Just so you guys kind of get a little update of what's going on. So four months, this whole building has been under construction with the, the balconies up top of the top unit first. And then they decided to do the balcony in my place as well, which I wasn't expecting, but it happened. But with that being said, it's been a construction zone for months, but now it's done here. So I have a brand new deck out here, just in time for spring. Um, I just got some patio furniture up yesterday as well. We have new siding here, all this siding around the windows is new. Um, I don't know if I mentioned, but these balcony doors were put in when I first moved in. Uh, there were just big windows here before. And then we got a new privacy wall and obviously new deck boards and a railing and everything. So it looks nice out here. It's a pretty day. It's about 55 degrees. The only thing that's really left is to repaint this wall once uh, temperatures get up in the 70s on average. So that looks absolutely horrible, but that'll be fixed as well. Not much else has changed in here. Big living room, just have a couch, pretty much <laughs> TV. <laughs> and then uh, this is kind of dubs as my office. Um, it has today at least, so I'll sit here and like do my stuff. Otherwise, I also sit here in the kitchen because we got this like area that I'm not really doing much with. I've been thinking about making this some kind of like office slash studio. Now it's just a coffee bar. Because this room was supposed to be an office as well. I don't know what I want to do here. If I want to like, you know, a pure guest room. Because it's not really big enough to have a guest room and an office. I don't know. And then we just have my bedroom here. If you guys like this type of stuff, I, I usually cover it more on the personal channel. But I've done so many videos about like the balcony renovations and stuff like that. That I don't want to make one more video on the personal channel about that. But if you like seeing stuff like this, I've already made tons of videos. So you can go check that channel out. But now we're going to go up to the garage. Because this has been a complete mess for months as well. This side of the garage was just filled with material and equipment and it was just awful. Granted, this side does not belong to me anyhow. It's this side over here. So we have the S65 sitting in the garage, chilling. And then one car that is missing is the R7, which is currently being fixed for the little damage that it has. It should be back sometime next week. And uh, I'm gonna have to make a decision on what I'm gonna do with that car. Maybe we'll talk more about that a little later. And in absence of the R7, we've had a little rental car that I've been driving around now for a few weeks. We're gonna hop in the rental here, and then we're gonna go see my favorite car on the channel. All right, 158 horsepower, let's go. <laughs> this thing is so slow. <laughs> yep, first, because we're back at the shop, and we have the staple of the channel, the Danger Ranger. Now everyone knows what we put this truck through. It's been suffering. With that being said, it does get normal problems as well, but the sponsor of today's video fixed that, which is the Fantic X9 Ultra. For anyone that's been watching my channel for the past year, you know that I've used the baby brother of the X9, which is the X8, because I've had a lot of tire inflation problems. So this is the big boy that is meant more for truck tires. And the only truck I really own nowadays is the Danger Ranger. And we all know what this truck has been through through the years and the least of its problem is a leaky tire. It does however have a leaky tire. So we're gonna demonstrate how quickly you can fill up a tire with air with the new X9. Now the X9 is not just a tire inflator, it's also a power station. Now it also dubs as a light source. So check this out. We got several different types of lighting that we can do. And obviously this works a whole lot better when it is dark outside. What you do is you just get the cord from underneath. It's a 45 inch cord. And if you open this little hatch up here, you have different adapters and nozzles as well. 
you don't have to just inflate tires. You can inflate little floaty devices for your pool or whatever. So we have the PSI preset to 35. Now you can change it easily with these buttons right here. Get the hose on there. As we can see, it's only 11.5 PSI. So we'll see how long it takes to fill it up to 35 PSI. So we got a minute and 58 seconds. So we got USB ports, we got USB-C ports as well. I'm gonna be having this thing with me at all times because the little brother Fantic that I've been using has saved my ass so many times. So check out the link in the description for the Fantic X9 Ultra. It's basically just a peace of mind to have this thing with you at all times. Whether you're traveling longer distances or shorter, if you get that tire pressure warning light in your car, you don't have to go find a gas station you have it with you at all times. So check out the link in the description. Thanks to Fantic for sponsoring today's video. Yeah, that's right. They have a spring sale event going on, so you save about 70 bucks off the X9. It's a good thing to have, pick one up. But let's uh, get on with the video here. About three years ago or something like that, I made a video about the, <laughs> the ad revenue that this thousand dollar truck has uh, generated on YouTube and Facebook. So I bought it sometime in 2020. I think it was like, summer or something like that during COVID I remember that just to make these type of videos and since then all those videos have generated a lot of money in ad revenue over four years it's not in a month or even in just one year or whatever so while the the numbers that we're gonna talk about are pretty big it's not like it happened in one month it's during the span of four years but as I am a full-time YouTuber, I've done these type of videos before. You guys know I make money off of ad revenue on YouTube. There's no other vehicle ever on my channel. Even the, the previous Hoopty, the Chevy Prism that we had, even though that did really well as well, uh, it doesn't come close to the Danger Ranger. So in today's video, we're going to do a little update of what this has generated in ad revenue for the biggest videos. I'm not going to cover like every single video that we've ever made. So the ROI on this thing is insane cost me a thousand dollars and it's generated over six figures which is crazy i wish all my videos did that but they sadly don't so the main reason i bought it in 2020 was it was a manual and i wanted to do a video to see what happens if you put a manual transmission in reverse while you're driving forward <laughs> uh, so that video has about four point two million views and it has generated ten thousand one hundred and whoa don't fall down here laptop it has generated ten thousand one hundred and thirty six dollars in ad revenue but every youtube video that you make has an rpm and rpm stands for revenue per mill which in english pretty much means revenue per thousand views and if we check on this specific video the rpm is very low it's two dollars and 41 cents so like we said every video will have different rpm some will be like 15 20 dollars and some will be as low as two dollars i don't know what uh makes a video have higher or low rpm i have no clue but who am i to complain to make a video on youtube and make uh ten thousand dollars over the course of four years again it's not in just one month from one video but as we move along here uh with the different videos you guys are going to see that the rpm changes so the next one that we i don't know if it was the one right after that i can't remember that but one of the videos that we also did was i was driving in fifth gear at 65 miles an hour and i threw it in the first to see what happens of course scientific experiment <laughs> and that video got 2.8 million views and generated eleven thousand dollars in ad revenue so now we can see uh, a video that got over a million and a half views less than the previous one actually generated more in ad revenue because the rpm was higher and it is three dollars and 99 cents so pretty much four dollars which is also low on average for my channel again i don't know what uh constitutes the rpm per video i have no clue that's all youtube and what advertisers pay to advertise on a certain video and so on but eleven thousand dollars so all in all currently we're at like twenty one thousand dollars in ad revenue for two videos now uh i would say probably the most popular video that i did with this truck uh is what happens if you put vodka in the gas tank now this video 
currently has four and a half million views and has generated, as you guys can see, $35,000 in ad revenue. And that is because the RPM was a lot higher, almost $8. So 35 grand for a video where I just put vodka in the gas tank while there was still a little bit of fuel left in there is definitely pretty freaking good. So we're gonna try to move along here pretty quick. And then uh, I did one that didn't even hit a million views, but that was what happens if you take the key out of the ignition. That one has generated $2,400, almost $2,500. The RPM on that one was $4.33. So also kind of low. And then uh, we did a video where I put it in reverse again, but while it was in four wheel drive, which pretty much broke the truck. That has 705,000 views and has generated $1,600 in ad revenue with an RPM of $2.40. Again, very low. So even though a video can get you know a good amount of views, doesn't mean that it's actually generating a lot of ad revenue. And I understand some people watching videos like this where you talk about YouTube money and all that. They're like, man, if I made 50 bucks for one video, I'd be like, over the moon, which I understand. But when you're a full-time YouTuber and you look at the analytics a lot and stuff, uh, and you look at the RPMs, um, you just know the potential that that video could have had if it had proper RPMs that a lot of other videos get. And then the last video that we're gonna cover is the most recent one that we did. Not most recent one, but one that we did about a month ago. And then we did the vodka experiment again, but this time we did it with no fuel in the tank whatsoever to see what happens if it's running on only vodka. It's a very interesting video. If you guys haven't checked it out, I'll link it up here. I'll link all these videos down in the description as well. But that video currently has, in about a month, 873,000 views and has generated $3,600 in ad revenue with an RPM of $4.16. So again, it's kinda low. Again, I don't know what makes one video have higher RPM than another, but I am not complaining. 3,600 bucks so far for that video. Now, with that being said, you guys know that I uh, do upload most of my videos on Facebook as well. And one thing that I'm you know, preparing for this video that is kind of baffling to me is that I can't find that what happens, the initial vodka video that we did on the Ranger, which got over 20 million views on Facebook. And as you guys can see here from the previous ad revenue video that we did, at the time, which is like almost three years ago, it had generated $40,000. And now I can't find it. I have a company that's kind of running my Facebook page currently making the content shorter and like uploading everything for me. So I'm kind of hands off there. I don't know if they've made a mistake and kind of deleted that video, which would be absolutely horrible. It would piss me off. Now, granted, it wasn't getting views anymore, so it's not like it was making a lot of money, but I, I got to talk to them about that. But at least from an old screenshot here, you guys can see at, at that time, it had generated 40 grand. Um, who knows what it would be now, but it did very, very well on Facebook. So moving along here though, I did, I was able to find the video where we shifted from fifth to first and on YouTube that I generated about 10 on Facebook, it generated, as you guys can see here, $8,700. And then uh, also the video where we put it in reverse while driving did well on Facebook. They got almost 13 million views on Facebook and it generated $13,000 in ad revenue. So the RPM is usually a lot lower on Facebook as well. Some videos will still do okay, but the uh, average watch time on Facebook is always lower also. And these are just the biggest videos that I've done. Again, some of those videos have been repurposed and made shorter and re-uploaded again and have generated even more ad revenue. But if we do some quick math here, is that this truck alone that cost me $1,000 has probably generated around $140,000 in ad revenue on YouTube and Facebook, which is absolutely crazy. Again, it's over the span of like four years, so it's, it's not like I'm, I don't want people to think that I'm like making this every year for one vehicle or even in a month or something crazy like that. But from an investment standpoint, for what I do for a living, this is by far the best investment I've ever made in my life for the videos that we've made. Any of the other cars that I've ever owned on the channel, the Ferrari, Audi R8, all the C63s and the S65 and the, all the cars that I've had, or trucks as well, 
which have had videos that have done very, very well, but it doesn't come close to my $1,000 1994 Ford Ranger, AKA the Danger Ranger. You know, there's a lot of automotive YouTubers out there and you know, they have a lot of fancy cars and stuff, but on my channel, those type of cars and videos, I mean, again, some of them have done good, like in, they've grown the channel and so on, but it's never the expensive stuff for me that actually generates a lot of money. It's the crappy cars. So we got to keep it moving with the Ranger. Um, she is a little grumpy currently. Hold on. My computer is about to freaking blow off here. Now she currently has Everclear in the gas tank and she's definitely grumpy. She's been sitting now for about three weeks. I don't know if she's going to start. We will have to get her up and running again. If you guys haven't checked that video out, do so. We're going to see if she starts now. Um, Come on, baby. Yeah, like I said, she's a little grumpy. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I love this truck. She's currently running. Yeah, see, she's grumpy. We're gonna turn her on. She's current, oof, dang, that smells bad. Holy crap. She's currently running on only ever clear although she is like we said a little grumpy so we're gonna let her rest here for a little while here and uh, we'll reconvene with the Ranger in a future video but at least now you guys got a quick little insight on you know YouTube ad revenue and how youtubers make money me in particular and we're gonna drive back to the apartment all right well we're back at the crib back at the garage and as you guys can see by the title uh, I did I took the thumbnail in front of the AMG, but this car is going nowhere. It's just that the R7 is not here, so I can't take the thumbnail with the R7. Once the R7 is back next to the AMG, uh, you know, I'm gonna have to make a decision about that car because I've had it now for a year and a half, something like that. And you know, I'm a YouTuber. Um, you do want to refresh content every now and then. My problem is that I absolutely love the R7. I don't want that car to go anywhere. It's just a good all-around car. I have a, a video that I want to make of the car as well as soon as it is back. I can't remember if I mentioned this in the beginning of the video or not. The car was supposed to be back like a long time ago, but the guy who's working on it at the shop where all the work's being done, um, he had uh, some kind of family uh, emergency. So he had to leave the shop. So that's why it's dragging out on time, but it should be back next week. And the thing is, I don't really know what can properly replace that car like in the somewhat the same price range as well because it just it does everything but for content you know I don't know how much people are interested in that specific car uh, anymore so that that's kind of like my dilemma like personally I, I want to just keep the car because I love it but I got to make content so I might have to get rid of it or sell it or trade it in on something else um, so yeah, we're gonna have to just wait and see. I can't wait to have it back though, because I, I truly miss the car. You know, I know I don't film constantly every time I'm driving them, obviously and stuff, but I love driving that car. It's just, it's a great car. So I don't know what's gonna properly replace it, if it goes. So let me know in the comments what, what you guys think uh, I should do and what you would like to see and so on. Um, and yeah, I gotta edit this video. I wanna have it up for you guys today. Um, you've gotten, uh, I guess, kind of like a little update, mini update on the crib, and then also in the garage, and also on ad revenue for the Danger Ranger, the staple of the channel. And then we get a quick little view from the garage window here, and down there is the balcony. So yeah, I think that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you're stopping by for the first time and you haven't already and you want to, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye-bye.